Cheesecake is a seven-year-old Gypsy Vanner stallion of the color Silver Cremello Tobiano, the only Gypsy Vanner of this coloring in the world, and the only Silver Cremello Tobiano stallion to be rated a five-star by the Gypsy Vanner Horse Society. He's the pride and joy of Eaton County Farm Bureau members Mandy and Kim Kramar of Willow Wind Stable in Charlotte. Cheesecake, whose Gaelic name, Fa Abala, meaning clear the way, was honored earlier this year by Briar Models, selected for their 70th anniversary at Briarfest 2020. Mandy's love for Gypsy Vanners started in 1999, soon after she graduated from Michigan State University with a degree in horse management. She initially planned to import Frisian horses after working with them during an internship. But when handed a brochure about a brand new breed in the U.S. called Gypsy Vanner by her tack shop boss, her mind was made up. I emailed some people wanting more information and it turned out that the horses were actually extremely expensive <laughs> and you weren't even going to get a horse. You were, you were purchasing what's called an embryo and um, for big money. So we're, I continued to search and to research and I went to the source of the horses which is Great Britain and Ireland and uh, so Kim was looking through the finances and he's like you know I'm just gonna send you there <laughs> and for the same price of, of buying an embryo here in the States it cost us three um, the same price for three fillies uh, so just, you know, so I just went. Mandy's plan after bringing the fillies home was to sell them. They were the 23rd, 24th, and 25th of the breed in all of North America and the first in Michigan. But with America's knowing little about Gypsy Vanners, things didn't go as planned. They began taking them to expos to get people acquainted with them. They then imported their first stallion from Ireland in 2002 to begin breeding. It wasn't until, I think, 2003 the following year that we went started going to the expos with him and you know so he was the only one the only gypsy there but even at that time people would just walk by and they would you know we could hear them say oh it's just another paint you know and they wouldn't even stop you know to, to look or or to ask so that was uh, our biggest roadblock as far as the business goes Things began to change in 2010 as people became more aware of the breed. The Kramars eventually had 20 mares with six foals on the ground every year. Then in 2013, in search of a new stallion, Mandy and Kim came upon Cheesecake as a young colt in Oregon. Within days, Cheesecake was at Willow Wind Stable, and after a week of rest and a mere 18 weeks old, he was evaluated in the arena, receiving high marks. At the age of three, dressage training began in earnest. At four, he joined the prestigious United States Dressage Federation, winning blue and champion ribbons in his first year. Then in 2018, at five years old and just over 14 hands high, Team Cheesy took training level reserve champion for the Gypsy Vanner Horse Society in the 2018 United States Dressage Federation All Breeds Awards. Mandy and Kim speculate it was that recognition that caught the attention of Briar Models. It was just a shock, you know, it was just completely out of the clear blue sky um, that we received this call from Briar. <laughs> and um, and so when I got back in the house, I called them and they were super excited to um, talk with me and to have Cheesy as a model um, for this year. And um, so, you know, once we accepted and, and they sent us the contract and everything, it was a long haul until February when we could actually tell people that he was a briar this year. Gypsies originated 500 years ago in Ireland with the sole purpose of pulling family traveling wagons, or vardos. Today, they're family horses. According to Mandy, children show them for 4-H, work them under saddle with dressage, and enjoy them for pure pleasure. But the connection, or dare say a love affair, of a gypsy pulling a vardo is something Kim Kramar is fully invested in. His was built by 86-year-old David Bryan and wife Christine over a year's time in Ontario, Canada. He built this according to the way we wanted it. Her and her granddaughter hand-painted everything that's in it, so all of the pictures of the horses and that are all our animals and stuff, and it's 
it's an authentic gypsy wagon because he considers he is a traveler. Nowadays, the Kramars have changed direction a bit with 11 mares on the farm, and Cheesecake's genes are still available to carry on his lineage, which has proven to be strong. You can learn more about Cheesecake and the Vardos at willowwindstable.net.